The first step is to ensure that the moment the customer drives past your store, he has a good image of the environment that he's going to be shopping in. The moment you walk through that entrance door, you must be presented with this retail theatre. Simpler, cleaner, more shopping friendly environment. Four Ways is an ideal site. It's a very sensitive site and we are aware of that. And as a result, we are going to landscape it correctly. We're cutting and filling it to best suit the uh, environment. And the look and feel of the store will be more in tune with the architectural fabric around it and architectural language rather than the traditional, more what, what people term the industrial design. So what we've tried to do here is break down the canopy structures, get rid of the hoops, create a gutter head, so it's got a very nice architectural element. We've put um, grooves into the plaster work so it's not completely flat, so we break it down, the straight gutter line rather than the curved gutter line, the straight edges rather than the gable ends. And then the canopy, the yellow canopy, is replaced with a tiled canopy. This second style of the macro uh, is a sympathetic architecture to the environment, whilst it still gives the solid branding of macro. The administrative office component that will face onto Witkopen Road is designed as a separate office block. So again, it is in keeping with the kind of architectural language that you find happening along Witkopen Road. In the four-way situation, the building is set far back from Witkopen Road and from Merrow Lane. So it's much further in the distance that we would normally have a macro. I think that the four-way store and the Cape Gate store are very good designs in relation to the urban environment. It relates well. We've taken neighbours and environments into consideration. Thank you.